He is Brent Hanks. I am Jeff Platt. This is No Gamble, No Future. We yeah. are coming to you not from the Poker Go tailgate, which is still open, by the way. We're right out It's back. a little breezy. It's a little breezy, a yeah. little windy. So we're inside the World Series of Poker, yeah. the Amazon room, Mr. Hanks. And I got to tell you, I'm exhausted. Well, you're very familiar with this room. You spent a lot yeah. of time in here lately. Yeah. Just, uh, my God, Jeff, you made a run, didn't you? Day four of the 1K double stack was in this very room oh. yesterday. And somehow, some way, Mr. Hanks, yeah. I was involved in that Let's day. Go! It was it, absolutely remarkable. Uh, we ended up finishing in fourth place. I think they pay you a little bit for fourth. Yeah, that they, they pay you a little bit too, by a tune awesome. of a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Is that what if I If you get mean paid? it's a little bit, you turned one thousand dollars into a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. So Josh, uh, Josh, Josh, come Josh join us. Just, can just we have Josh Just real quick. Yeah. Now hold on. Yeah. Come right in the middle. Drop your head in here. Yeah. Okay. This is the man. Josh Ari, bracelet winner once again. Dude, Are you selling any of oh, Thanks, man. Um, I am. I'm selling action on pocket fives. Oh. Just like a little sweat here and there. Um, but we have like Daniels on there. You can buy pieces of Daniel every day at pocketfives.com. Oh. Um, hopefully see you boys on there soon. Oh, we're sir. coming. Yes, we're sir. coming. Um, hot. Dude, this is about you. No, fucking come good on, job. Man. Hey, congratulations. Well, we got to plug the marketplace because well. yeah. Pocket yeah. Fives, the marketplace. Yeah. I'll see y'all in Josh Ari is the man there. Uh, Go buy action. Tailgate. Tailgate. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Tailgate. Okay. Tailgate tomorrow night. You heard that. So we got to do football tomorrow night. Oh, that'd be Because I'm awesome. not going to be, I'm that'd not be going to awesome. cover Thank the. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We can't tailgate the seniors event. Well, we can. No, I'm not doing you're, that. You're out on that. I'm not doing that. Why? I, I saw mean, Jack just McCone not... in the back. We were yeah. talking poker. He was great. I'm not, I can't. We got to, people want to watch the tailgate. We're not, they're not going to tune in for that. Okay, that's fair. But our tailgate right. is brought to you by the Pocket Fives Marketplace. Yes, it is. It is brought to you by Sol for Y. Congrats to yes, Conrad from Sol for Y, by the way. Also, also making fourth. a final table. Finished fourth in the 5K freeze out. My God. That's a pretty what fourth a big place day. finish. It's a huge day. You know, so everyone who comes to the tailgate, you actually, I mean, you run it. You're a host of the tailgate. Conrad is there all the time. Yeah. Anthony Zeno's been there. Phil Helmuth has been there. Yeah. Josh Arie, who won a bracelet, he's been there multiple times. So everyone that comes to the tailgate seems to win a bunch of money. That's true. Except there's one guy that one I'm guy trying to think of that hasn't won anything yet. Oh, that. That's you. That's me. It's you. That's it's me. It's you. GG Poker Ambassador Jason Kuhn also stopped by. The tailgate is brought a to bunch you of money. by GG. Yeah. We have superstars. We have snacks. Icon oh. Snacks is there with all the popcorn. And of course, Brent. Yes. Good timing. Mm. To become smarter than energy, must have a little nerd focus. Cheers, my friend. What Thank did you this guy you focus. threw to that final table? Mm. Really did. I had, I had one nerd focus every day of that run. One. So back to that run. 20. Not that it's about me, of course, but back to the run. What, what, and I finished in fourth in a WSO. It is about you. Not, not really. This whole show about is about you. Me, but producer John was was there for the last couple of days of the tournament. Um, he's there with the video camera. He was checking out the action. You were there on the rail for day four. Yeah. I think we go through it a little bit. End of day two, I bagged the chip lead somehow. I think I blacked out the last two hours of that. I but was going, sober, you weren't drinking. No, I, wa I wasn't drinking, but I, I just, just I like had a no zone. idea what happened. Yeah. I did go uh, Adamo mode a couple times, probably not in the right spots, but I did find did some just massive savage? over Did you have ridiculous with, bluffs? With bluffs and with value. Really? And everything just kind of worked. It was just, again, it was very, it was very bizarre, but we bagged the chip we going into day three. And then at the beginning of day three, one other big stack is at the table. And we get we just get it in, and I have aces versus his kings for just all of it. It's a lot of the chips, Jeff. Got a little fortunate earlier. It's an easier game when you have aces and the other guy has kings. Yeah, all the money. Absolutely all of it. <laughs> so I'm probably at six million in chips when second place is like two and a half. Oh my god. Or something. It's an absurd chip lead. It was a pretty smooth ride on day three. Uh, I sat next to our guy Ralph Massey for a little bit. Yep. You know he's always sure to to keep us entertained. Oh yeah, he's gonna keep you in line, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, day three was just pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, and then we bag. Okay. You know, we, we bag. So day three, day three, I'm not here. Yeah, yeah, All right, you so day three, sick. I'm at home, I'm puking You're my dead. guts out. Absolutely dead. Sick as shit. Yeah. But every time I would wake up, Two-hour nap, wake up, puke, check my phone. <laughs> Your chip count went from 
You started the day somewhere. I remember reading, oh my God, my first 1 million chip stack. Oh, okay, I think okay, that was yeah, the night yeah. before. Then it was the next day. Oh my God, I'm at 3.3 million. Two hours go by. 6.4 million somewhere sure. along. And you have a, a 2x chip lead on the entire field. Yeah. And then we bag about 8 million. So it slowed down. It slowed down a little bit. But then we enter day four, and this is where the action heated up. This is where... You were on the rail. Producer John was yeah. here. The whole Poker Go crew. Our guy Ben Ludlow was firing off the updates. Great on job by Ben. Yeah, yeah, great, great job by Ben. He was wow. on the rail, on the rail for days. Day four. Jeff Black, 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 looking dapper. No, there's three day one. Why not us? Why not now? Well, nerd focus. <laughs> Think nerd. Okay. When you have focus. nerd focus, you can't Star be stopped. One. He is dialed in. He's focused. He said, "Think drinks all morning long." This man is not a nerd, but he is focused. Seventeen players left. <laughs> Could be us. Could be. All right, gentlemen, we'll be us. Back. All right, let's go. That was, uh, that was an emotional roller coaster, to say the least. So we get the chips in with the, <laughs> the ace five suited against uh, our guy Dustin's ace jack, and the flop just comes king five five. Never it's a like, doubt. It's like it turns Never a, a doubt. He's just, he's he's just, just dead. dead. Stone dead. He's just dead. Absolute great guy. We hooked him up with a no gamble, no future hoodie. Speaking of, you can get those here at the World Series of Poker. You can check out our Poker Go booth and pick up a no gamble, no future hoodie and get some swag. I wanted to ask you about that hand. Okay. Is okay, this so the hand you're no, going to bring up? No, I have oh, okay. a hand I'm going to bring up that happened okay. there at that table. So that hand, the guy opened Dustin. Yeah, on the bottom. 800,000. Which is a, more than two and a half. 153. Yeah. 150K, 300K. The guy opened, he's, he's talking out loud. Right. He is basically saying, I have a big hand. Right. I'm going to raise this button, and if you move it in, I'm going to call. Right. So you look at Ace Five suited, and you think. He might fold. <laughs> well, maybe, but maybe he will fold. So I'm just going to go with it. And he beats you in. He beats me in with the ace jack. And you yeah. just sheepishly roll over the but ace five suited. Remember, and I played with him for a couple days. Yeah. Remember earlier in the I was going to, okay. He did min raise, but he min raised. And he folded. Button, and he was talking. Yeah. And and he did fold. And then I played with him throughout the last couple of days. He, he's just he's just a total the wild card. The sizing didn't sizing. throw you off No, though? because he used crazy big sizing and crazy small sizing. And okay. I don't think um, there was a tell. Now, Sure, looking back on it, I see that he's probably, probably calling, calling there. Yeah, like but some it, live it, tell just stuff. Just a little bit of defense. I played with him for a couple of yeah. days and know that he but can. But you also knew you were going to get there, and he's just dead on the turn. Well, how does ace-five suited not Doesn't get there? Lose. How, what's the prettier hand, ace-five suited yeah, or ace-jack offsuit? Your hand. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, even exactly. close. It's always 33% uh, to win. Can't so, be wrong. So yeah. that gets there. Then we just get shown a massive bluff. On a nine nine seven seven X. Oh, oh, is this the hand? Okay. The do you hand. want to walk us through it, or do you want me to walk us? through I it? want you to walk us through everything. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna tear you apart. Okay. So not in a good way. Uh, can you tear me apart in a good way? Well, the. the... <laughs> okay. So yeah. be before we sat down to record this, Brent said, you know, there is one hand that I want to go through. There is one hand, and so here is that hand. Um, Starts out pretty standard, yeah. right? Folds around the me in middle position. Look down at two eights. Come in for the raise. I raise the min. I think I started the hand with what, probably forty bigs? Maybe yeah. A little less. What was the level exactly? Do you remember? I don't remember. I don't remember. Probably anything. had to be I'm close surprised. to one fifty three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was probably in the one fifty three. It could have been that two four level. Two four. Let's call it two four. And so, you started the hand with about uh, ten million, eleven million. So I'm min raise in mid position. Yeah. Uh, a, Guy by the name of Ken flats on the button. Yeah. The blinds are out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. So we are heads up to a flop. And that flop comes nine, seven, seven. Yeah. Two spades? Yeah. Yeah. No, not, no, no, rainbow. Nine, seven, seven, the turn was. Turns a spade. to three of spades. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. nine, seven, seven, rainbow. I check. Yeah. He bets a little less than half. 1.6 million. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably a little less than half pot, and I call. Yeah. The turn is the three of spades. Yes. I check. Yes. He bets 3.2 million. 3.2 million. He went exactly size bigger. And I call. You call. River is the nine. So it's nine, nine seven, diamonds. seven, three, nine. Yeah. I check. Yeah. He says all of the chips. All the chips. I tank. I fold. It was a little bit more than five million. His, uh, his all in on the river. Yeah. 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 And you fold it. And, he, and then, so I fold and he said, do you have a pair? said yeah you knew you right know, then he yeah. got you right yeah right because yeah. because if he had it he just mucks and we just move we all move on with yeah. our lives right yeah yeah you knew right then that, it, that you were and, getting and uh, he showed me the fives the counterfeit yeah, counterfeit. yeah 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 so here's what i want to ask you okay okay 
he, you, you were talking in the hand, and I think we have footage of this. I'm not sure. We'll have to see if producer John has this. But you were talking on the hand. And you said, you just, you just always show me a nine here, right? Like, always just show me a nine. Okay, so first of all, you've got eights. Yeah. So if he has a nine, what sort of nine does he have? Now, you've played with yeah, this guy a long time. Right. So he, could he have 10-9 suited? Yeah, I yeah. think he has 10-9 suited, ace-nine suited, and... Maybe king nine suited. I'm talking about this player specifically, not just a, a yeah, general yeah, yeah. player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ace nine suited. Yeah, ten nine suited. You're giving him a lot yeah. of nines there in a very delicate bubble and the, and final the table two spot. remaining nine eight. You've suits. got a great image. No, you're not going nuts. You did get the ace five in, but you, yeah. this guy, I haven't seen anything remarkably out of line from anybody no. at the table. No, no, so no, yeah. there's very few combinations of suited nines out there. In I fact, agree. it can only be the club variation, and it can only be the heart variation. Right. Right. And you've got the two eights. Right. So let's go ahead, Jeff, and give him credit. Would he three bet you with tens pre-flop? Is he that kind of player? It, 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 that's dicey. I don't know. I think what he, about this, Jax? Guy, this guy might just call Jax he would three bet. And yeah. queens and kings yeah, and aces. Yeah, 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 and he might yeah, trap yeah. you with aces at some point. No, he would just three bet. He'd just three bet. Okay, three so all those aces. hands are three yeah. bets, right? Yeah. So the run out, again, so we're clear, is nine, seven, seven, seven three, three, nine. nine. So if he had any of those hands, the yeah. tens, the jacks, the queens, the kings, and the aces, he hates that river more than you do because he thinks you could be check calling with a nine. Sure, sure, So he's, sure, he's sure. checking back on all sure. those boards. Sure, So we can eliminate all of every other single pairs. one of those hands. And he's the type of player also who would not even look for value. Some players would look for value there with kings, eight sure, queens, but probably stuff not like that, this but not guy. him. Not him. Yeah. Yeah. So we eliminate all that, yeah. all the value yeah. hands. So if we've eliminated every single value hand, and we also know he can't have the eights because you've got the eights. Right. And he probably would have checked that back at some point right. along the way. And also less combos of the seven eight suited because of probably what doesn't I, have any. And he also yeah. hates that nine. There's a chance he even checks a seven crazily That's true. That's on the true. river, That's right? True. Just like, oh my God, this yeah. is, how, how does that card come? Yeah. Right. And he's happy to show it down. Yeah. He would also check back all the ace highs on the river that could have been For a backdoor sure. flush draw sure. because yeah. ace high is not a bad That's hand good to have showdown. on the river. Yeah. Right. Showdown value. So now you are only giving this man credit for. A 9x combo, which right, again, which there are very limited. few. It's only yeah. the hearts, and it's the club. That's it. Meaning eights is a call. Yeah, meaning having two eights is very good hand to have. Very good hand it's to have. very good yeah. hand to have. And I thought like you would have called better, it. I wouldn't say even, well, maybe even better that, than that having two jacks. That was my only spot where yeah. I was like, oh, I think Jeff, if he went back in time and he saw this, he would for sure find a call. Yeah, in the hand review. Yeah, in the yeah. old hand review. That was my only spot. And I was like, oh, man. He's going back over there to the table. He's going back over there to the table no, to good. relive the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that was, was good. it. That was that my was own. Good. Everything else I thought was just beautiful. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Um, I know we have a little bit of footage of, of this. This is after yeah. I was showing the bluff when I was down to about 20 bigs and yeah. in the big blind. Button opens at a, a similar stack size, at a touch more. I think he had maybe yeah. 23, 24 bigs. Uh, he opens, and I look down at two threes in the big blind. And we just we just go rip city. Yolo. We just go rip city. Yeah. He tanked. He tanked a while. He did. I mean, in three or four minutes, maybe. He tanked a very long time. I actually thought he had a better hand than what he yeah. called with, which was the ace jack. Ace option. jack. I thought he had like ace queen and was legit considering it, folding and and eventually found the call. But yeah, it was ace jack. I thought he made a fine call. Yes. I think you would do that fine. with some worse aces. Like again, the ace five suited that we saw. Right. Oh, I think you're defending a lot. Yeah, we talked about not, this. I'm just shoving. defending a lot of those yeah. eight worse aces. But. And then I thought he might have a better pair. Like, oh gosh, does he have sixes? Or oh, sevens? when he's tanking. Yeah. yeah. Please don't show me the sixes when he made. That was the. Uh, I think that hand though, the pocket threes. That was the hand that put you in position. Yeah. To make to, a run. To make a run yeah. in final table this yeah, thing yeah, and yeah. take home six. No figures. question about yeah. it. Um, and so, he makes the call. We see like. Eight four four and the turn was a Oof, five or yeah. something like Extra that, or, or eight five four turn yeah. paired the board. So we just had to dodge everything, and we did on yeah. the river somehow yeah. winning with those threes. Clean. It's clean. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Uh, it was quite amazing. It yeah. was quite unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, the rail was pumped, and then my family comes in town. That was cool. You know they're here in Dallas. So cool. I didn't know my mom and uncle would also be there. Then my sister comes in town from yeah. LA. Yeah. That was awesome. You got to hang out with them. Yes, I did. On the rail for a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And then we moved to the secondary feature table right here behind us at Amazon. And then it's like getting real. It's like the unofficial final table. And I would think I was I was more nervous than you were. 
in yeah, there. Yeah, And yeah, your mom right. was more nervous she was than anybody. Out. So here's a really cool story. I talked to, to Jeff's mom, Lori, when, when they got here. Mom, dad, best friend from home, yeah. Chad. Preston, also Preston, your good friend? Yeah, Chad and Preston. So and two Tom. good friends from yeah. home that came in from Dallas. Now check this out. Back in 2014. 14. I'll get that year right. Yeah. 2014, Jeff goes deep in the main event. Yeah. Okay. Day five. His whole family comes into town. Yeah. His mom walks right through this door inside the Amazon, and they're going to come and they're going to watch Jeff on day five of the main yeah. event. And they come right through the door, and Jeff is standing up. He's in his chair. He's all in. As soon as they come through the door, he's eliminated. Busto. He is completely out. They just got Busto. here off the flight. Now, we just talked about that threes hand. I shit you not. Yeah. His mom. His dad, the whole family, they come walking in when Jeff is all in with pocket threes and covered, going to the river. They come into the door. Yeah. Not this time. This time he holds and he finds a double up, and we head to the final table it, shortly it thereafter. It took seven years to get my mom to come back to a <laughs> poker tournament, and if that would have happened, she would have just. I mean, that was so done. cool. I uh, I would have been devastated more for your your mother. Oh, than same, anybody same. Else. I would have been yeah, crushed. Your so poor mom. we make the unofficial final table. Meanwhile, there's the 10k PLO going on on the yep. main stage. We're set up for a poker go stream. So producer Pat asked me uh, if I want to do a stand up. I'm like, all right, give me the mic and let's go. So we we. We make the stand-up happen. Pat. That producer, producer Pat. That producer Pat. Producer yeah, Pat. There he yeah. is. There he is. Uh, so we make that happen, and then we play. And, you know, I think the final table, correct me if I'm wrong, played out in take pretty this, by the way? Yeah, this, this guy's called you like six times. I mean, I, is this I, an emergency? I think I had an interview scheduled for this time. Don't mean to brag, and I just totally forgot. Wait, you were interviewing for something? Um, yeah, for, for a Pocket Fives thing. You just text him. Be easy, I'll say. What do you mean you Stop have an interview? Calling. Are you yeah, taking he wants a to job? interview me about no 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 not a job interview just interview me about are you working the elsewhere run. now oh sorry still shooting poker go this guy's got the same guy calling oh, him six he's... times yeah there we like, go the, you better check if like is this an emergency i wouldn't think it's an but maybe they need to post it soon i don't know yeah Anyway, uh, final table, yeah. relatively standard. I had to play super tight in most spots because there were two super short stacks. Right. And sure, you want to go for the win, but when the pay jumps are 20k, yeah. 30k, yeah. 40k, you really have to have to tighten the screws. Uh, we did accomplish moving up the ladder. Sure did. Four players left. Pretty short. Long story short, we end up getting the chips in with the ace nine against the king jack. Yep. David had the King Jack, sat right next to me, French Canadian, excellent player. Really good. Excellent, excellent player. Other than you, he was the best player at that table. Other than me, thank you. No, really, you, yeah, you played, you played great. You thank played you. awesome. Um, he had the King Jack, and right as the dealer was doing the flop, the floor goes up to the dealer because we were using our, our jib cam to show the all in and call. The floor goes up to the dealer and says, uh, deal this flop really slow for TV purposes. And so the dealer hears that right as he opens the flop, so he's just stuck on the door card, and it's the jack. The jack. And when we're up against the king jack, and just staring at a jack for like 12 seconds is a little bit You're painful. just hoping an ace is right behind yeah, you. A and little it carrot yeah, head it popping out. Jack on the flop. Jack seven. Turn a gut shot, didn't get there on the river, out in fourth place. You said it, one hundred sixty thousand yeah. dollars. We'll take it. Uh, just an incredible run. So appreciative of all the support, including from you. Let's go, my good man. Let's go, uh, including from producer John, including from the whole uh, Poker Go squad. You know, I sat, including from everybody on our virtual rail and our rail in person. We've seen so so much no gamble, no future swag. Yeah. Throughout the World Series, uh, Steve, who is sitting next to me. Stozy Pokes, as you might know him from Twitch, uh, was wearing the No Gamble, No Future hoodie. Amazing. The whole time. It Amazing. was awesome. So the support was just incredible. And whew, 
I you're got You're tired else. now, huh? Oh, yeah. You're yeah, tired. Yeah, it was emotional. You know, it's, so, yeah. we do these shows every week. Jeff and I do all these commentary gigs yeah. for all these high rollers, and we, we talk the talk, but very rarely in recent years have we walked yeah. the walk. And I, I should not say we. Has anybody. Jeff did it. Final tables of the World Series event. Fourth place finish. Damn near wins a bracelet. We were so close to having this official podcast uh, is uh, both just shining a little gold. But you know what? It gives you a little bit more drive. Now you're going to fire now some you, more. You've tasted the, the success oh, on a Oh, God. I mean, you're going to want level. it so bad now. And uh, you want to go play something? Yeah, what should we play? What the senior? I said we weren't going to do the tailgate for the seniors event, but maybe we could go. We can't, can't play it. How old do you have no. to be to play it? 50. I'm not. I'm 10 years off. 11 years I'm off. A little further off than you are, but I don't. Producer think John, can it. you play the seniors event? No, he's a little off. He's a little off. He's a little, little off. He's a little off. All right. So after the tournament, you know, I've been doing sideline reporting. Yeah. Interviews throughout. Yeah. So not only did I do a stand up, but I caught up with myself after a fourth place finish. Take a look. Well, Jeff, a fourth place finish for you. What are your overall thoughts? Oh man, I, I mean, I'm. I'm I'm fired up. I'm just so so fortunate to have made this run and have finished fourth. On, you know, I made day four of a World Series of Poker bracelet event. How cool is that? How lucky am I? This is amazing. But with that said, I mean, a, a fourth place finish, there has to be a major sense of disappointment when you're that close to a bracelet and you don't end up winning the title. I mean, I think I think disappointment is is a bit of a strong word, right? I was fourth out of 3,991 entries, so I don't see how the word disappointment can cross my mind here. But you did have the chip lead going into the final table, into the unofficial final table, so you must have thought that you would at the very least finish better than fourth. Yeah, I didn't really see the, this interview kind of taking this turn. I'm, I'm not sure when I had the chip lead. I know I had a lot of chips at one point, uh, just a, a little bit of chips at, an, at another point. You know, this this is a poker tournament. It's a roller coaster ride. There are a bunch of ups and downs. I don't I don't really know what you want me to say. You seem to be like really probing at a specific emotion of mine that just that just doesn't exist. All right, so there we go. There it is. Ridiculous interview, by the way. I thought it was, it was tough. Great. Tough questions. Tough I questions. thought it was great. Was not a fan. All right, let's move on to the Circa Million Three, where we are. I mean, we're doing fine uh, overall, but it's like. Well, no, we weren't. What did we do this week? Two and three. I mean, we're just. So we're 500. Yeah, 500, and that's not going to cut it. Hopefully, we win one of the quarters contests. We're going to put our picks up. We already did our top five. We used back. It's not our headline contest. All that good anymore. stuff. It's not the headline. So yeah. here are our picks. We're going with the Panthers plus three, yeah. the Patriots plus six, yeah. the Bills. 13 and a half. Minus the 13 and a half. The Browns minus three and a half. And the Washington football team plus the three. Now this next subject should be a headline because it is the tracker. And that tracker shows you on fire and yeah. it shows me ice cold. You yep. are plus 16.3 units. That is after a losing week. That is my first losing week in seven weeks. That's, that's I have not had a losing week. That was my first one in seven weeks and I lost less than a full unit. Plus 16.3 units. Plus Follow 16. us on Twitter yeah. at NGNF Show, yeah. at Buffalo Hanks, at Jeff Platt to get our cards because you can ride with Brent and you can fade me. I am. You ready for this? Yeah. Minus 40.9 <laughs> units. I mean, <laughs> just... how, how can you be minus 40 units? <laughs> so. Part of the dinner that we went to with yeah. his best friends and his family after the after his score, we talk about this. We talk about our show and our results and our betting units. Jeff drops on them that I'm just crushing, and he says, I'm down 37.4 <laughs> units, and they lost it. They lost it because it doesn't seem possible. And now you've hit level 40. Level 40? Level 40. We're only like eight weeks in. We're eight weeks in. Yeah, it's it's one thing to be as on fire as you. It's another thing to be as cold as I am. I mean, right this now. is just, simple math. You're losing five bets a week. Yeah, for eight that's weeks. absurd. And I know I bet a lot of games compared to you, but it's still just like it's, ten to fifteen total. It's really not that. It, yeah, I mean that is just one of the abysmal. all-time cold streaks. So Thank fade, God you got fade, this fade. tournament score. I needed it. I needed it. Now I'm about even. You can pay here. back your bookie. Uh, oh my god speaking of so in the tracker you're just crushing me right yeah plus 
three units here. Hey, my man, I owe you twenty dollars. I owe you twenty dollars. This guy's yeah. a stone cold killer. Mar I'm paying him on camera. Hold on, come on okay, over here. Yeah, come on over. Oh, poker code swag. Oh wait, so, man, do you have change for Jeff? Do Four. you have a twenty? Oh, that's good. Or do I'll you have take change? It. I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have change for a hundred? No. What are you? What I are owe you twenty dollars. From? I borrowed twenty dollars from you over there. You say hi to the camera. We're live right now. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's Mario. Mario. Yeah. Mario. Mario yeah. I borrowed twenty dollars from him in the five K six max that Daniel Negreanu put me in. We were side by side. Oh, okay, we're you. square. And I remembered <laughs> if Mar I owe you twenty. <laughs> And I remembered, if I see Mario, I am going to pay him back his $20. And sure enough, here he is right here. And there it is, on camera. What are you doing? 20 bucks. Podcast, yeah. Or? Yeah, we're doing our podcast. No okay. gamble, no future. That's awesome. Yeah. That's what are you used to? Uh, well, I just uh, bought cash to a friend who plays the 25K now. And Ooh. I'm not sure what else to do. Okay. I know what you should do. What? Will you tell the camera just one time for us? Will you tell them you got to risk it to get the biscuit? You can stand in the middle just of us. Just stand right here. Yeah. You just tell you. It'd be firm about it. You let them know you got to risk it to get the biscuit. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. That was good. Like, that was like good. That's it. That was That's good. it right there. All right, there. good to see you, man. My good man. Luck. Good luck the rest Thank of the way. You. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for that twenty. Appreciate you. I was playing uh, next to Mario the other day. Yeah. And once I saw the poker code video guy come by, I was like, oh shit. You know, this guy's gonna be a force he, he, to be reckoned He's with. really fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah. He was really good. He was fantastic. What's uh, his last name? I don't know. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. Mario I think, I think from Germany. Mario from, from Austria. Austria. Yeah, part Same of the Poker place. Code crew. Shout out, yeah. uh, Fedor Holtz. So we were talking about the tracker. The Hawker Code. Yes, yeah. yes, that's Fedor. Yeah. Uh, and how about you are crushing me? So <laughs> what, what I decided is just to throw up this, and that's our WSOP tracker. How you like me now? And that WSOP tracker shows... Why are we going to do this? At $164,411 in earnings. It shows you at $3,093. And look, producer John even worked his way into the mix, into the tracker. <sighs> He's got more than five k in earnings. And you, you have three k. It's pathetic, really. It's pathetic. This, this puts a, a, a giant flame directly under my asshole. And I, it is burning through the middle of my body. I... Uh, you got to go get ridiculous. it. What are you going to get? What's Seniors. next? No, can't play that. <laughs> no, no, the Colossus. On, uh, okay. I'm going to play that on Friday. I'll play can't that with play you. play Saturday because I got it. Can I play Sunday? Wait, we have the tag team event. Yeah, so that's what I was going to bring up next. So have you... Okay, so I need to talk to my wife and get clearance that I don't need to go trick-or-treating. Or and you could still go trick-or-treating. You could show up during the day, play the first couple levels, and then I take over. And, and you go trick-or-treating with the kids, and then you come back at night. That's actually a great idea. And I haven't heard from Sam, who I thought okay, wanted who would, to play yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were booked so with Sam. So I would Sam. have known from Sam if he was going to play, or at least. Uh, I need to follow up with Sam Simmons. If he wants to play, then i got to figure out a plan like that with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I you'll play with Sam, and with I'll play kids. with Ben Ludlow. Yeah. What kind of father would that be? You, no, you have to do Halloween. I don't even go trick-or-treating with my own children because yeah, I'm going to play poker? you got to do Halloween. But it would work because you don't need to be here. I don't. Yeah. I don't need you just to be need here. to be here for a little bit. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to make it happen. Okay. All right. I'll okay. let you know about that. So, so we're, we're probably going to be in the tag team. If we are, you can keep yeah. track of our yeah. adventures yeah. on Twitter at NGNF Show. He's at Buffalo Hanks. I'm at Jeff Pot. Producer John will be following us around with a camera. He might be playing. You know, John should be firing. Yeah. He's, he's up all the money. He's, he's yeah. getting. What Did you play something else, Producer John? He played an $800 event. Well, we don't have to worry about that he, one. Let's uh, just focus on the good run and the $500 freeze out. Remco was giving him some thoughts and critique about how to play, and that's when you know. Oh, God. Talk to the wrong guy. Yeah, run some hands through Brent, at least. Yeah. Remco and I Tim mean, Duckworth. Oh, my God. Duckworth doesn't play These guys queens are playing or worse. limit poker. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They, they, they don't even know what they're doing idea. there. It's one bet. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No, I don't think so. Don't Tailgate, think so. make sure you stop by. Check us yep. out there. We're going to go live, I think, maybe tomorrow, according to Josh Arie. We can't which say no to him because he's a sponsor. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Thursday night, which might be when you get this podcast. So tonight, I don't know when you're going to hear it. Uh, we are either going to do football or football because we don't even have a stream on Poker Go tomorrow. Right. And then maybe we'll pop up on Saturday here and there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it. TBD. We'll figure it out. Just, just follow TBD us on at Twitter. the tailgate. It's open every day and all that. And definitely every day at yes. the main event, we're going to be live With outside special streaming. Uh, special guests every single day. Jeff's going to be working sidelines. I'm going to be playing, but on those off days, I'm out there 
Jeff's going to come out when he can, and we're going to have people loaded up. I got the Barstool Boys coming in. That's going to be we great. We got Mincy, we got yeah. Nate, we got Smitty. Sounds like Dave Portnoy is oh, coming to play oh, the main oh. event. That's a big fucking deal. So we'll be looking for Portnoy. If we can, we'll get him out there. I highly doubt we will because it's Dave Portnoy. Yeah. He doesn't do anything for free. Um, no free ads. I don't know. Maybe we just call it the Barstool tailgate and let him take over. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. I'm sure they'd love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time on No Game on No Future. Thanks so much for watching.